My lips are warm. First watchman. Lead boy. Which way? Juliet. Be in noise. Then I'll be brief. Oh, happy dagger. This is thy sheath. Their rust and let me die. Is she ready? I don't know. She's in there reading. Well, we gotta get to the campground. I know. Huh? I'll get her. Come on, Karen. We gotta go. You're not even dressed. Sure am. Where is your coat? Your hat? Your gloves? Chill, Mom. How do you even find anything in this mess? Because I know exactly where everything is. It's total chaos. Not up here, it isn't. Pick up your dad's backpack. How are you enjoying Romeo and Juliet? It's lame. Lame? I love Romeo and Juliet. I don't see why. She marries the guy like the day after she meets him. Well, she is only 13. I know, right? She has her whole life ahead of her, which she totally just throws away for love. What's the big hurry? What's whose hurry? Karen's reading Romeo and Juliet. Well, that's great. Girls love that play. I Karen don't. doesn't. Well, why not? I mean, it's so romantic. Would you throw your life away for love? In a heartbeat. Ew! Theater. <laughs> Let's go. It makes no sense. Her whole life ahead of her. Can she just throw it all away for love? What's romantic about that? First date night without her. Bet you're checking your phone every five minutes. <laughs> Stephanie! Oh, come here! Hi! Um, hi. Uh, excuse me. Sorry. Are you serious? Karen! Hi. Thanks for bailing me out. Not a problem. They cornered me in the supermarket last weekend. My ice cream nearly melted. They have a lot of baby pictures. Oh, I can see why it is a very cute baby. And yours and Austin's will be too when the time comes. If the time comes. Stop. It will. Two white wines, please. Is Bryce here? No. He went up north to spend Thanksgiving with his brother Grady. Mm -hmm. Was an angel up there over Labor Day? Yep. Yep. Did he ask you to go with him? No. Does that not bother you that you've never met his family? Not as much as it seems to bother you since you always bring it up. Uh, I couldn't help but notice you from across the room. You. you are so beautiful. Careful, pal. She's a married woman. I thank my lucky stars for that every day. Mm. Copy that. What are you looking at, Greg? Fantasyland, Greg style. Check it out. It's the finest private collection of vinyl in the tri-state area. Look at this. Isn't it magnificent? Greg wants to buy this for a store, but apparently it's not happening. Every vintage record store in the world has been trying to get a hold of the owner. I've emailed him, written him over a dozen times. Well, well maybe he'll come around. <laughs> How do we find out? Hmm? A fortune teller? Seriously? Uh, come on, it's for charity. I'm paying. I want to know the future. Madam Rue, I have a customer for you. Good. Yes, here we go, buddy. That will be $10. Okay. Here you go. Ah, thank you. Now, give me your hands. All right. This is worth 10 bucks. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. You will need a bigger boat. What? <laughs> That's a line from Jaws. <laughs> wow. What does it mean? It's a metaphor. 
thank you for your business. That's it? What do you expect for ten dollars? A reading? <laughs> You should enjoy that drink while you can. Excuse me? I realize it is not on everyone's favorite list, but Roo would be a wonderful name for a boy or a girl. Oh. That is what you call a freebie. <laughs> yes. Okay, then. We should probably get back to the party. And you, pretty girl. Would you like to know your future? I'm good. No, no, let's hear what she has to say. Wait, Do my it. treat. Yes. Okay. Come here, give me your hands. Receive a ring by spring, or you will never marry. Do you know where he is? Uh, existentially, no. Three-dimensionally, he's on this lift talking to you. Hi, Mr. Halsey. I'm Karen I'm... Briggs in the details consulting. Right. Ah, now, do you prefer Miss Briggs or Karen? Karen, please. That is good because I hate Mr. Halsey. <laughs> Hi, I'm Tom, CEO of this madhouse. But don't spread that around. Okay. Uh, follow me. I'll give you a tour of the asylum. Great. So I started post grad when I graduated college, and I was looking for a way to bankroll business school. When I noticed a lot of uh, students were literally throwing all of this stuff away. Textbooks, furniture, last year's computer, you name it. So, I cut a deal with the school to scavenge what I could, and I put it online for sale. And boom, I was up and running. Well, it has been quite a run. Yeah, because I realized early on there's like 4,000 colleges and universities in this country. 4,146, to be exact. Well, you did your homework. Like my business name says, it's in the details. Well, I contacted all of them, and soon I was the go-to guy. So I stopped scavenging, and I started brokering. Did you want some? <laughs> I was wondering when you were going to see the greedy look in my eye. They're my all-time favorite. <laughs> right? Nuts, caramel corn, prizes, it's genius. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Yes, what's up? We run everything out of here. Yes. Entirely web-based, it's a 24-7 operation. Oh, I'm not surprised. PGS is the go-to brand. Yeah, I was first up in. Top. I got lucky. Maybe, but you're also a fair dealer with a money-back, no-questions-asked policy you totally stand behind. You have been doing your research. First-hand, I was a customer. A highly satisfied one. <laughs> huh. I'm surprised I missed your name in the database. Get those purchase orders? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Ursula. Yeah. <sighs> 
My business has leveled out over the last 18 months, and I need to know why. Well, that's why I'm here. Ah, this is you. This is me? Yeah. This and the... Oh, sorry. The uh, boxes in this room. Sorry about the mess. I meant to have it organized before you got here, but, well, obviously I didn't. But you do know where everything is, right? Not really. So these are all of your sales, financial, and employee records? I hope so. They were kind of spread all over the place. I take it back. Maybe you did get lucky. <laughs> I told you. Well, it's an easy one. I already know what my first recommendation is going to be. Hire a CEO who knows what he's doing? <laughs> this is me getting to work. All right. I'll let you do it. somebody who loved them as much as him, and that was me. To the <laughs> owner of the finest collection of vinyl in the tri-state area, <laughs> Actually, guys, <clears throat> I have some news, too. <laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> what? Oh, my gosh. That was fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> to Madame Rue. Oh, yeah. To Madame Rue. To who? The fortune teller. The Autumn Leaves fundraiser. Remember? She totally nailed it. That bigger boat that I needed was the bigger store that I'm going to need for all this sweet ride. <laughs> she knew I was going to get pregnant. What was your fortune again? I don't remember. I do. You will receive a ring by spring or you will never marry. What does that mean? That means that someone is about to get engaged. Oh, yes. I don't think so. <laughs> hey, good looking. Hey. Stephanie and Greg are here. Say hi. Hi, Brian. <laughs> they both have really big news. Can't wait to hear it. Uh, uh, can you tell me tonight? You free for dinner? Uh, sure. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah, I just uh, need to talk. Okay. Uh, Hearts of Palm, okay? 7.30? Great. I'll see you there. Great. See you later. He seems strange. Mm -hmm. Well, of course he did. He's going to propose to you tonight. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, come on. Hearts of Palm, baby. That's the most romantic restaurant downtown. Of course he's going to propose to you tonight. Because of what some silly fortune teller said? Adam Rue's batting a thousand so far. Oh! not see this coming. You guys haven't talked about marriage? No. I mean, we've been dating for a while, but I haven't even met his family. Still. So, do you guys want to get married? I don't know. I've never really thought about it. Well, do you love him? Yeah, I do, you know, I guess. So he'll ask, you'll say yes, and it'll all be perfect. Yeah, perfect. You know, that smells so fantastic that I think I need a little taste. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Ew! Are you guys going to ever stop embarrassing me? I hope not. <laughs> you look nice. Thank you. I'm meeting Bryce for dinner. Um, can I talk to you guys about something? Sure, honey. Far away. How would you feel if I got married? You're getting married? No, not yet, not technically, but I'm pretty sure Bryce is going to pop the question tonight. No. Pop the question. That's a weird phrase. Why do people say that? Uh, we don't really know Bryce all that well. No, but, but we like him. We, we like him. Good, good. That's good. Right. So I will just go and I will, I will get engaged. I sure. don't want to be late to my engagement. So this all looks delicious. Good night. Love you guys. Have we met good that? talk. Talk. Well, this is a surprise. I'll say. Are you ready to be a mother-in-law? Yeah, I think I could handle that.
Thanks. Is that cream? Yeah. Oh, okay. I had a really great time with Grady and his family over Thanksgiving. I know, you said that. Especially with my niece and nephew. The kids are so much fun when they're, when they're little like that. <laughs> Stray hair. Hmm? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> So anyways, uh, I've been spending a lot of time with them. And while I've been um, asking myself some questions. What kind of questions? You know, questions. Like, who am I? Where am I going? What do I want? Ah, the trivial ones. <laughs> No, oh, he didn't bring me a spoon. Oh, it, it's it's there. Spoons don't go on the left. What was he thinking? You were saying the um the questions. Right. Um, ones that at our age we should be asking ourselves. And did you find any answers? Yeah. In particular, the what do I want one. And? And? I want a family, Karen. A wife, kids, whole banana. Okay. And so, as unexpected as this is probably going to be, and it is for me too, believe me. <laughs> um, I've decided that I can't see you anymore. What? Um, uh, I'm breaking up with you. You just said you wanted the whole banana. I, I do. So, why are you not proposing to me? Proposing? <laughs> Karen, you're not exactly marriage material. What do you mean I'm not marriage material? And by the way, material, that's a very offensive word in this context. I mean you don't want to get married. Why would you say that? Because you don't. I mean, I did not see this coming. What am I supposed to do now? Honey, me. According to Madame Rue, if I'm not engaged by... When does spring begin? March 20th. By March 20th, I'm destined to be an old maid. Old maid? That's a weird turn of phrase, too. <laughs> I don't like it either. So, am I supposed to go husband hunting? Is there, like, a link on Craigslist for that? Maybe you're not destined to get married. That's what Bryce said. Do you agree with him? Well, I, I don't know, but... Just think about it. I mean, how long have you known that I wanted to be a mom? Since forever. Mm -hmm. And that Greg would throw himself in front of a moving train to save a shrink wrap first pressing of Meet the Beatles. The same? Right. Because we talk about those things. Obsessively. And unless you are keeping secrets from me, I have never heard you mention wanting to get married. Not once. And I have known you most of my... Mm. Stephanie? Mm -mm. Oh, honey, are you okay? <laughs> Stephanie, are you okay? <laughs> Is there anything I can do to help? No, no. Uh, remind me again why I wanted to get pregnant so much. They say morning sickness is a good sign. Mm -hmm. Well, what they don't tell you is that it is morning, noon, and night sickness. Well, it won't last forever. <sighs> Well, it's okay. It means I have a healthy baby. I can live with it.
Ring, ring, ring. Time to get up. Ring, ring, ring. Tommy, time to get up. Ring, ring, ring. Come on, buddy. It's another beautiful day. Ring, ring, ring. I'm just ringing here. Come on, Okay, hey, shut boy. up. here yeah in my office I do that a lot and that's your breakfast yeah you want some no I'm good <laughs> so how's it going in here you making any sense of this mess um yeah I'm getting there good um, well I'll, uh, I'll let you get back to work I desperately need a cup of coffee yeah I could use one too I'll come with you All right. oh a little slide whistle I love these Hey, so tell me something. Was it your CFO's idea to have your financials spread all over Kingdom Come? Oh, we don't have a CFO, but we have a really awesome CPA. You're a multi-million dollar company. I know. Scary, huh? It's unusual, for sure. I'm the first to admit it. We've been flying by the seat of our pants, and we can't keep that up forever. Not if we expect to have a future. Oh, the future. I guess it's part of human nature to avoid thinking about it. Well, it's definitely part of mine. How's your bowling game? As in bowling, bowling? Yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty much non-existent. Well, it's perfect. We have a company bowling team that meets every week. Now, we're all really bad, but we just do it to relax and hang. It's open to anybody if you want to join us. That'd be great. Give me a chance to get to know some of your employees. Uh, employees, I hate that word. Makes me feel like Lumberg from Office Space. Oh, I love that movie. Yeah, it's the best. <laughs> have you, have you, have you seen my Dibbler? Dibbler? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so when do you guys meet? Uh, Sunday afternoons. And you better be as bad as you say you are, or people will get really annoyed. I am the absolute worst, okay. I promise. <laughs> well, I gotta say, we really weren't that surprised. What? You don't think I'm marriage material either? I still hate No, that. that's not what we're saying, sweetheart. It's just, well, look at your history. I mean, you and Rory went steady all through high school. Right? And you and that mountain climber guy. Dave. Dave. Well, you were inseparable in college. And Josh is the only guy you dated in business school. See? I'm a monogamous person. They all moved on. And now Bruce has too. Bryce. And I guarantee you Rory didn't break up with me because I'm not marriageable. We were in high school. Is he married now? Yes. Yeah, well, what about Dave? Josh isn't married. I thought you and Josh lost contact. Not possible in the age of social media, Mom. All we're saying is this has been your pattern. setting the bar awfully low. I warned you. Show up. That was awesome. You made the team. So what exactly does a business consultant do? I analyze a business based on its past history and current performance, and then I make recommendations on how they can do things better and then help implement them. So are we getting a report card? You betcha. Awesome. Uh, Will and I are analysts, too. Uh, symbolic analysts, three. Geek. Although Ursula is geekier than me. I truly am. Pretty much everybody at PGS is a geek, mm -hmm. including Boss. I told you never to call me that. <laughs> Uncle Harry, you made it. Of course. Watching you bozo stumble over yourself, it is the best game in town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, Owen Harry. Good to see you, handsome. Hey. So, uh, who's a pretty new friend? Uncle Harry, this is Karen. She's doing some consulting work for us. Hi. Nice to meet you. Well, I'm charmed. No, I don't see a ring. Why don't you ask her out? Down, boy. <laughs> Sorry. And go. go. Got it? Yep. Ugh. Oh, Greg, thank you so much for helping me with this. I really appreciate it. Yeah. We're okay. really supposed to change mattresses every seven years? Yep. Oh, I'm about a decade overdue then. Yeah. Do you remember 
in high school when you asked me to the homecoming dance? Of course. I asked the hottest girl in school and she said yes. Aw, thanks for that hottest girl in school comment. That's not true, but... Yes, it is. But then that stud muffin Rory Matthews swept you off your feet. Right. That happened. Which was totally cool, because then you and I got to be friends instead. Man, Rory Matthews, I haven't thought about him in ages. Right? He was so crazy about you, it was ridiculous. He really was. Yeah. So, why did he break up with me? I don't know, I and guess... And Josh and Dave, why did they just move on? I need to find out. Rory. Hi, it's Karen. Karen Briggs. <laughs> How are you? this place. They have the best mozzarella sticks, sticks in town. Oh. <laughs> Rory! Well, uh, enjoy your lunch. You too. Is that... Oh, uh, yeah, extra crispy mozzarella sticks. Crackling fun for dessert. You know me so well. <laughs> Bye, Tom. See ya. Rory. Karen. It's so good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you too. Oh, thank you for meeting me for lunch. Oh, of course. Cooper's three and a half and Ashley will be one in a few weeks. Oh, they're super cute. Yeah, they're a couple of sweethearts. That's Brandy with Fiona. Brandy's my wife. And Fiona. The golden retriever. Yeah. Got it. Brandy's super cute, too. Yeah, I lucked out there. So, how about you? You married? Kids? No, no. I'm, um, still an army of one. Well, that doesn't surprise me. It doesn't. No, no, you were always so independent, so self-contained. Brandy's the opposite. She needs a lot of attention. So, Brandy is high maintenance. Majorly. And if I'm the opposite of that, that means I'm low maintenance? In high school, you sure were. Isn't low maintenance a good thing? I like high maintenance. I like taking care of Brandy and the kids. I like feeling needed. Okay. So, I, I did not make you feel needed in high school. Is that why you call me after all these years? Are you, you working on some unresolved high school issues? No, no, not really high school exactly, but I do have this pattern where the guys that I'm dating, it's going great, and then they just move on, you know, like you did. You were 17. But if I didn't make you feel needed in high school, why were you with me? <sighs> I, high school relationships are pretty much all about hormones, Karen, and you two are pretty cute. Anyways, I don't think romance is the right word. You were not romantic. I wasn't. No, do, um, do you remember the, your report on Romeo and Juliet? You said Juliet had her whole life ahead of her. And she threw it all away. For love. Yeah, I do remember that. Maybe that's your pattern. Wanting to avoid that. Is here to see you. Send him in. Thank you. Hey, Craig. Bryce. Good yes. to see you. Have a seat. Thanks. Ah, oh, oh, great. So, we're updating your business's liability policy, right? Yeah. Moving into a bigger space. That's the new lease agreement. Great. Let's have a look. Have you seen Karen lately? Yeah. A week ago? How's she doing? She's good. Just same old Karen, you know? Good. Man, that was hard breaking up with her. 
Yeah? Yeah, I still care about her a lot. Just uh, didn't see a future for us, you know? Then I guess it's best you broke it off. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I just, uh, I still miss her. Let's get back to this. Uh, let's see. Everything looks good. Let's review 5D. Yeah, I remember that book report. I mean, we were all pretty shocked. Girls love Romeo and Juliet. And why were you having lunch with Rory Matthews? I'm on a journey. A journey backwards? Mostly. <laughs> and what are you hoping to find on this journey? Why every guy I have ever dated dumped me. Well, figuring things out is your specialty. Are you going to eat all of those? <laughs> I sure am. I'm finally over the morning sickness, and I have been waiting my whole life to take a vacation from dieting and eat whatever I want. I mean, it is the whole point of being pregnant. Also, the, um, the baby you're going to have. That too. <laughs> so, what's the next stop on your journey? Mickey Samuelson from junior no, high. Oh, no! And I dumped him. <laughs> well, then it's got to be Dave. Yes. Hey, it's Karen. <laughs> yes, that Karen. <laughs> Uh, well, I saw on Facebook that you are going to be in town uh, next week, and I thought it was... She a very active yeah. social life. Well, but ask her out for crying out loud. Tuesday for coffee sounds perfect. Okay, Dave, I'll see you then. Have a great trip. Bye. <laughs> That is an unbelievable view. Well, it better be. It takes about three days to climb to the top of Kilimanjaro. Did you have to train a lot before you went? Oh, yeah, definitely. But that's part of the fun. Who's that? Oh, Monica uh, on our safari. Boy, she looks really fit. She is. She, uh, she keeps me on my toes. We're headed to Bonaire this summer. Where is that? Dutch Caribbean. Some of the best scuba diving in the world. There you go. Cool. So, no kids yet? No kids ever. We decided pretty early on that we're going to focus our full attention on each other. Right. Now, I read more and more couples are doing that. Yeah. Look, between us, Monica and I, we make a pretty darn good living. Low-stress jobs, lots of vacation time. So why tie ourselves to raising a family when there's all those adventures out there to tackle, right? Right. Yes. So what about you? You, uh, you still single? Don't see a, a ring. Yeah. Yep. Still an army of one. <laughs> Thank you so much for yeah. meeting me today. Um, do you mind if I uh, ask you a question? Not at all. Why um, exactly did you break up with me? Do you remember? Sure. I did it to see what you'd do. What did you want me to do? Fight for me. I didn't know that. Well, I'm sorry if that sounds harsh, but it always seemed to me that you know, even though we had great times together, you never wanted me in your life as much as I wanted you in mine. Yes, I did. Well, then why did you give up so easily when I broke it off? So he was testing you? Yeah. That is so manipulative. Maybe, but I failed. No, I don't think so. No, a guy like that, you're better off without him. So what was I doing with him for three years? You were young in college. <sighs> do, do you think it's possible that I was with him because I knew we weren't going to have no, a future, no. and Josh and Bryce, because I had my whole life ahead of me, and I didn't want to just throw it away for love? Huh? Her Romeo and Juliet book report. You remember that? Sure. You're the only girl I ever met who didn't like Romeo and Juliet. So what does that say about me? It says you were 12, and like most kids, <laughs> knew everything. Maybe I did. Why don't we just watch our movie? It's not a romance, is it? No, it's a mystery. It's British. I like British guys. Maybe my husband's British. Oh, right. That's the last thing you want is a British guy. Dad. You are going to find the guy of your dreams. Hello. Hello. 
tires left. Hey, Tom. Huh. Is that a new shirt? Yeah. It's nice. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Are you wearing aftershave? Yeah. So, when are you going to ask her out? Ask who out? <laughs> Come on, Tom. You think your friends are idiots? We've all seen the way you've been looking at Karen. It's not obvious, huh? Look, how long ago did you and Ashley break up? Like 18 months? Yeah, something like that. So you're like way overdue to start dating again. Angela, I don't want to just date to date. I want to get serious about somebody. You got to date him first. She's really cool, Tom. Just go for it. You sound like Uncle Harry. Well, Harry's a very smart guy. My surfboard business has really taken off. Really? I'm not surprised. I mean, you were the star of our MBA program. Uh, what about you? You still consulting? Yes, I am. I'm actually I'm running into PGS right now. Ah, the surplus guys. I love them. Uh, look, I can't talk for long. I'm about to start a meeting. Is there a reason that you got in touch? Yeah, I've actually, um, it's kind of awkward, but... Lately, I've been doing some soul searching, and I was just wondering, when business school was over and I was moving back here, were you at all tempted to ask me to stay? Sure. So, why didn't you? Well, because I knew you were in love with me. Well, were you in love with me? Yeah, crazy in love. Josh, I didn't know that. I told you. Didn't you believe me? Not really. I'm so sorry. Ah, no, don't be. I'm over it, and we had a great run. Yeah, we really did, didn't we? You know, don't do too much soul searching, Karen. Just embrace the moments. You're always really good at that. Thank you, Josh. That's so sweet. I don't know. Come out and see me soon. I would like that. Hi. Hi. All right, I'm in a buzz. One Enjoy second. talking to you. You too. Have a great day. Hi. Uh, oh, uh, I read your preliminary report. I was wondering if you had time to go through it with me. Sure. Yes, you want to... Let's just go to my office. Sure. I know this is none of my business, but uh, was that your boyfriend? No. I'm, I'm actually not dating anyone at the moment. Oh. So I guess a lot of your friends just happen to be guys, huh? What do you mean? Well, the diner... Rory! Right, and, and, and Josh. Yeah, and somebody named Dave? Bowling, phone call... No, those guys are all friends. I, I was in a relationship, but a very serious one, until recently. Uh, did he go commitment shy on you? Because I know that drill. No, it was actually me. I couldn't make the commitment he wanted, so I'm not committed. Even though he never asked me to commit, I think I could be committed, but I'm not. Why didn't you ask him? Because I didn't know I wanted that. Do you? I don't know. I think that... Oh, she had her whole life ahead of her and just threw it all away thing really twisted me up. This is the Romeo and Juliet thing? Yes. I got it in my head that if you let yourself fall in love with someone, your whole world changes. Well, doesn't it? Yes, but change is good. I thought change was bad. Well, it can be. Hey, Marco. So, what are you trying to say? You're sorry Bryce broke up with you? Or... Yes. I think I blew it. I don't think so. I think you still have a shot with him. What? I saw him the other day, and he seemed really sad about the breakout. Why didn't you tell Sorry, me that? I'm late, guys. Hey. But you have got to see this. <sighs> Meet my baby. <laughs> what? I know. <laughs> Stephanie, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wow. You love being married, don't you? Oh, except on those days when Austin drives me off the wall. Now a baby on the way. It is a beautiful life you're living, Stephanie Kirkwood. What is this? What is this all about? This journey that I've been on, I just, I think I finally found my way out of the maze. Yeah? 
Yeah, I mean, all of the guys that I've dated, they've all known something about me that I didn't even know myself, or at least I wouldn't admit to myself. What? I'm afraid of marriage. And I have to get over that. I think Madame Rue's prediction was a wake-up call. about me, Bryce. I am marriage material. I really am. <laughs> can we, can we talk? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I don't know if you're going to believe this, but I, I saw a fortune teller. She said I would receive a ring by spring. Wait, 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 wait. A fortune teller told you this. Yes, but a really amazing one. She totally saw what was going to happen with Stephanie and Greg. So you want to get back together so that this prediction can come true? No, no, because this is supposed to happen. You were ahead of me. I'm just catching up. I miss you. So, did you look at all of these magazines when you were planning your wedding? A lot of them. I had no idea there were so many. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Hello! Dinner is served. Wonderful! I'll go serve us up. What you guys doing? Bryce and I are getting married. I thought you broke up. Austin. No, I, I mean, uh, wow, Karen, that's, that's great. I know. Thank you for Getting picking married. up dinner. They have the best. Is this for real? As far as I can tell, he hasn't mostly had his head. But they're seeing each other. Now. Apparently. Is this a good thing? I hope so. But looking at bridal magazines with Karen, as someone I have known my whole life who's never shown the least bit of interest in stuff like this. I love you guys. Weird. By now, you all know Karen the hands-down worst bowler on the team. <laughs> Thank you. She has spent the past many weeks analyzing PGS from top to bottom, uh -oh. figuring out what makes us tick and hopefully how to make us tick even better. But I'll let her explain all that. So, without further ado, please welcome Karen Briggs. First of all, I want to say congratulations to all of you for running such a successful, customer-friendly business. Yes. Wow. Now, I have advised a lot of businesses over the years, and most of the time what I discover, which nobody wants to hear, is they're not working hard enough. With you guys, it's actually the opposite. You work too hard. <laughs> most of you put in eight to ten hour days, occasional all-nighters like the guy here who does not want to be called your boss. <laughs> and organizationally, well, there is not a lot of organization. As a result, you're not as effective as you could be. Now, this lays out my recommendations for how we fix that. Over the next six weeks, we will implement them, which means I will be spending one-on-one -on -one time with all of you. And then we will crunch the real-time numbers and see how effective they are. How does that sound? Great. That's good. Sure. I'm good. I heard we have homework. Yes, you do. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was awesome. Nine to five. We totally need to concept. hear that. Oh, thank you. Oh, let me know when our one-on-one's going to be. Will do. Yeah. I'll tell you right now, there's no way I'm going home at 5 o'clock every day. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I'm a consultant, not a cop. But if you don't and business doesn't improve, don't blame me. You really think this is going to help? You better believe I do. They're hiring me was a waste of time. Point taken. <laughs> hey, are, are you hungry? Because I am jonesing for some mozzarella sticks. Oh, I would love to, but I can't tonight. Oh, what about tomorrow night? Like a dinner date. That's, um... Wow, I mean, that's, that's... It's really sweet. I, I, um... But my, my, my boyfriend, Bryce, and I just, just got back together. Oh. That whole commitment thing that I, uh, told you about, we worked on it, and, um... We're gonna get married. Married? Um, congratulations. Uh, I, I mean, congratulations to Bryce, since you're supposed to congratulate the guy and not the girl. It's, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's something, something that's... <laughs> well, this is... It's great news. Um, you know, you should invite him bowling. I would love to meet him. Okay, I will. And, and thank you for asking me out. I mean, if I were single, I would have really liked that. <laughs> Talk it. Yeah. There's a Valentine's Day dance at the rec center. We don't want to embarrass ourselves. And we won't. We might. <laughs> <laughs> you can't take that job. It'll need to be taken in. You're thinner than I was on my wedding day. <sighs> what do you think? I don't know. I have zero attachment to the idea of you getting married in the dress I wore. You, you know that, right? Right. I gotta admit, I never thought I'd see myself in one of these. Why? Can I talk to you about something? Yeah, sure. Mom, how did you do this? I mean, I know the sacrifices you've had to make to marry Dad. What are you talking about? New York publishing, your, your whole career. That was just a job I had after college. But it was so exciting and glamorous. <sighs> But it wasn't what I wanted, Karen. This and, and you and your dad. This is what I wanted. I didn't give up anything. I, I, I got it. Is that where she threw it all away for love came from? The way you felt about me and my choices? I think so. Oh. Baby, I'm so sorry. Do not spill that. <laughs> that is, that's so not true. I would have sacrificed anything to be with your dad and never for an instant have considered it a sacrifice. I get that you would have done anything to be with dad, but you guys are still crazy in love. What is the secret? Well, for starters, we like each other. 
Of course you do. When I wake up in the morning and I see your dad lying next to me, or I hear him in here making breakfast, makes me smile. It's another day and your dad is going to be part of it and that makes me happy. <laughs> if you can't wake up every morning and feel that way, it can be real hard to keep a marriage together. I can see that. Just between you and me, it was your dad's idea, this Valentine's Day dance. My idea of a perfect romantic evening is the two of us at home in our comfiest pajamas, a great meal, followed by a cup of hot chocolate, and a romantic movie on the TV. I'm going to go give this to your dad. Do not spill that. Oh, thank you. What are you watching? Oh, this is uh, the next episode in that series. Yes! Yes! Mm. <laughs> you make good luck, Charm. Mm -hmm. Yes! Is that three in a row for you now? Yeah, I've got some good game today, huh? Oh, My personal okay. best is like 239. <laughs> wow. I don't think we've hit 239 with all of our scores added together. Not even close. Man, I haven't been bowling forever. Karen was never really into it, so I was surprised when she came. Babe, 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 don't. No. Come on, we went through this. You're holding it wrong, that's why it's ending up in the gutter. I have focus, babe. I can't go through this with you every single time. Wait. Back here. Wait, sit Just focus, though. Sorry, guys. Okay, two feet together. I'm going to take three steps out and let the ball go. Okay? Good, 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 good. Let it go. Excellent. Yeah. The bar plummets downward. And a hamburger walks into a bar, and the bartender says, Sorry, we don't serve food in here. Oh, no. Tough crap. But the number one walk into a bar job horse trots in, and the bartender looks up and says, why the long face? <laughs> I don't get it. Because it was a horse. Get it? Uh, long? <laughs> oh, OK. That's funny. Hey, listen, uh, we're going to go to Pagliotti's and get something to eat. Why don't you come with? Oh, that sounds great. Hey, do you mind if we don't? I'm just trying to stay away from carbs. OK, uh, um, then I will, I'll see you at the office. All right. Good game. Yeah, nice right. meeting you. Bye. Yeah. Oh, what? We're gonna go right and call her. Thanks, sweetie. You learn how to put on a coat, huh? The easiest <laughs> way to fix her collar Wait. is so not cool. Come on, you guys, we just met him. What is she doing with that guy? You can totally steal her from him, Tom. And what kind of guy does <laughs> that, huh? A knight in shining armor kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See you guys at the restaurant. Yeah, see ya. Valentine's Day. You look great. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I was thinking, uh, are you sure you want to stay in? Absolutely. I have a great night planned. I made your favorites. Kale with cranberry and walnuts. Salmon with a balsamic glaze. Wow. Oven roasted potatoes. Very nice. Pecan pie. Mm -hmm. And I have the most romantic Valentine's Day movie ever. <laughs> Do you 
you like the rosemary? Mm -hmm. So many magazines here. This table's loose. <laughs> it was a wonderful. Uh, yeah. Oh, it was. It's five o'clock. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, please do. All right. I reviewed the new numbers. Business is up. I know. I gotta admit, I wasn't convinced your plan would work. Well, it makes sense. Now that PGS is more organized, you're all working saner hours, so you have more time to rest, enjoy yourselves, recharge your batteries for when you are on the job. Well, I'm gonna miss my all-nighters. You're not in college anymore, Tom. And I am really excited to see what's gonna happen with your company now that we've implemented these changes. So how is it you're still working? Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I'll walk out with you. Let me get my coat. How was your Valentine's Day? Good. Maybe just stayed in and watched a movie. Yeah, me too. My favorite. <laughs> Office Space? <laughs> no, my favorite romantic movie. Which is? Uh, I don't know if I should tell you. It's pretty embarrassing. Well, you're definitely telling me now. A <laughs> forever kind of love. That is my favorite movie ever. Come on. Yeah, we watched it too. Well, I did. Cool. Can I ask you a question? Sure. What did you think of Bryce? Oh, um... Sorry to put you on the spot like that, but my, my family and friends have known him for a couple of years, and I just wanted to get a fresh perspective. Okay. Uh, well, he seemed really focused and substantial, solid, um, and neat. <laughs> does he iron his jeans? He does. Well, there you go. He's definitely marriage material. Material, that sounds kind of offensive, doesn't it? I have never understood that phrase. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Sure. Good night. Good night. Thanks for agreeing to be Austin's Lamar's backup. Oh, here you go. Not a problem. It's part of the best friend job description. <laughs> I do have to say that instructional video was pretty graphic. Yeah. Well, childbirth is not for the faint of heart. Which is why you are gonna rock it. Hmm. You parked on the street, right? Yes. I'm that away. Okay. Okay. I love you. Love you. Yeah. Tom? Tom? Hi! 
Hi. Hey. What are you doing here? Uh, it's Uncle Harry. He fell and broke his leg. No. Did you want to see him? Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, he had a surgery, but uh, oh. then he weathered fine. Uh, but he's still in a lot of pain. Oh, I'm so sorry. Well, it was kind of his own fault. He was trying to fix a smoke alarm that was on a stepladder that was way too low, and he fell. Oh, you know, he should have called me to help him, but he's just always been so independent and self-contained. Yeah, that sounds familiar. <laughs> I love that about him, though. Always growing and taking on new challenges. It's really inspirational. It is. Cora. Hey. <laughs> oh. I dreamed about Cora just now. She looks so... Beautiful. We were in the old house in the kitchen. She was pouring us some tea. You remember how graceful she looked when she did that? The way she held the teapot just so. <laughs> I loved her for that. <laughs> how you feeling, Uncle Harry? I feel like I can't wait to get out of here. Not a boy. <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling? Yeah. So he finally asked her out. Good for you. She's just visiting Uncle Harry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry about that. He's an incorrigible matchmaker. Mm, I noticed. <laughs> Who is um, Cora? His wife, my aunt. Um, they were married for 49 years. Wow. Yeah. Um, she passed a few years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that was good. It was time. He knew it better than anyone and realized he had to let her go. Well, oh, he still really has that going on. Oh, yeah. yeah. The opposite sex still puts a twinkle in his eye. You know, I think a big reason for that is because he loved my aunt so much. He loved feeling that way about somebody. You know, it's probably not in the cards for him, but he'd love to feel that way again. Boy, they sure set the bar high. I'm just I, I should get back to him. But, uh, I'll, I'll see you in the office. Okay. seems solid and the kind of guy a woman would marry him. Is he the kind of guy you should marry? What do you mean? What I mean is, he's got you. But does he get you? You're smart and fun and super good at what you do. And obviously, I only met him once, so what do I know? But I had to ask myself based on that one and only impression. Does he really appreciate how special you are? And how lucky he is? Are you his Cora? Does he love you like that? Is he gonna love you like that for 49 years? And are you gonna love him like that back? Because I know it's ridiculously old-fashioned to believe this. But I do believe it. The only love worth having and wanting is that forever kind. Do you have that with Bryce? I'm sorry, but you asked the question, I just wanted to give you my full and honest answer. Thank you. Okay. Right now, I'm 
You know, that smells so fantastic that I think I need a little taste. <laughs> mm. Ew! You have the most uncanny timing. <laughs> timing is not necessary with you guys. You are always canoodling. You look nice. Mm -hmm. I'm having dinner tonight with Bryce at Hearts of Palm. Uh -huh. Oh. I just stopped by to say thank you. Thanks for what? For being wonderful parents. You see, I always told you we raised a very intelligent dog. <laughs> Even with all the canoodling. Maybe because of it. It is super annoying for sure, but it's truly lovely. It's, it's inspirational. That's... Thanks. I love you guys, and I just wanted to tell you that. So, dinner with Bryce. Come on. Group hug. Thank you so much for everything. Um... I don't know. Maybe I'll just go for straight ice cream. Uh, no, 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 no. No, no, what are you gonna order? Um, I don't, I don't know. What? We need to talk. Okay. About what? About us getting married, this whole ring by spring thing. I love you, Bryce. I really, truly do. Uh -huh. I love you too, babe. But I am trying to make something happen that isn't supposed to happen, all because of some fortune teller's prediction. Um, wait, sorry. What, what, what isn't supposed to happen? Us getting married. Well, me getting married. It's not in the cards for me. That's what the prediction said, and I can see that now. And I know this comes as a surprise to you, because it definitely comes as a surprise to me, and I am so sorry. Well, to be honest with you, I mean, I leapt into this because I really do care about you, but in my heart of hearts, I think my initial instinct was right. I mean, you're not really married. Oh, please don't say material. Look, marriage is a beautiful thing, but if you are going to take that leap and you are going to wear that ring, you need to be committed all the way, forever, just like Mom and Dad, Stephanie and Austin, and, and some other people that I've met. I'm sorry, I... just to be clear. We're breaking up. Yeah. And I'm sorry. And even though we aren't meant to be together, you are going to find someone wonderful. And she is going to be so lucky.
even though you're leaving us, you're still going to bowl with us, right? Mm -hmm. You're on the fast track to earn our least improved trophy this year. <laughs> A highly coveted honor. I would love to. Awesome. <laughs> Time to refuel. Definitely. Thanks again. Aww. Hey! This was so thoughtful of you. No, it was the whole gang's idea. You really made an impression around here. See, we needed a grown-up to come in and whip us into shape. So thank you for that. <laughs> Did you see I did not get a piece of cake? Do you want my piece of cake? <laughs> yeah, I will burn this place to the ground. I will set fire to the building. Thank you. <sighs> Listen, I just wanted to thank you once again for everything you've done for us. Oh, of course. This has been really great. Um, I do want to say, though, that you shouldn't use me as a benchmark for what it means to be a grown-up. I mean, I'm just beginning to figure out who I am and what I want. What? Well, it's probably not the best time to get married, then. It isn't. And I'm, I'm not. Bryce and I broke up again. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It was my decision. So, all is good. Wait, you didn't break up with him because of what I said to you, did you? No, no, no. You just channeled back to me exactly what I was thinking and feeling, and I thank you for that. Well, you're welcome for that. And are you free for dinner, then? Tom, you're amazing, but I've actually sworn off the relationship business for a while. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. It's going to break a lot of hearts. I doubt it. <laughs> Good night, Tom. You are a truly wonderful guy. And if things were different... They are different. You're single now. But if there's anything I've learned over these past few months, it's that I'm not good at love. I don't believe that. It's true. I mean, maybe in the short term I'm okay, but in the long run... So... What? Just friends, then? Good friends. You're still going to come bowling with us, all right? Yes. I will see you at the bowling alley. Okay. Good night, Karen. Good night. This whole experience forced me to look at my life for maybe the first time ever and ask some really important questions. Who am I? What do I want? Where am I going? And what'd you come up with? I mean, I have great friends. Thank you guys so very much. I have, I have wonderful parents, if they're slightly exasperating. I've got a great job. I mean, I am going exactly where I'm supposed to be going. And if I'm destined to go there alone, I'm okay with that. Karen, you are 30 years old. I mean, how can you possibly know that you are destined to be alone? I can't know that, but Madame Rue did. Wait, she's a prank fortune teller that a charity fundraising committee hired. She can't really see into the future. Oh, yeah? Well, how's that big new store you just moved into? And you, are you faking? Is that a pillow under there? You said it yourself. I may not be destined for marriage. I may have said that, but it doesn't mean it's what I want for you. It's okay, guys. It really, truly is. She forgot. You didn't forget. She'll be here. Andy, 
grapefruit. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Where is it? Tell me you left it at home. I'm sorry, how do I know you? Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Remember you. Okay, what did you just mean when you said, where is it? Oh. Take your gloves off. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. It's the same thing. What's the same thing? It's the same thing. What is the same thing? You will receive a ring by spring, or you will never marry. I saw the same thing. Same prediction. No, 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 no. I do not predict anything. I just see it. I, I, I don't understand. At that fundraiser, I saw you with a ring before spring. Well, it's spring in spite of this awful weather. But there's no ring, is there? So I'll never get married. That's fine. Fine? Why should it be fine? Well, it has to be. That's my destiny. What? You are a young and vibrant woman with your whole life ahead of you. Why would you just throw it away? Throw it away? Why would you say that? Please don't say that. Uh, what? Here. What are you doing? If... I have doomed you to a life alone, which was never my intention. The least thing I can do is to give you a refund. Wait, so you weren't saying I'm, I'm destined to be single? I said I saw you with a ring. I'm sorry, you didn't get it. For me. Uh, crack them fun if they have it. You got it. The minute you stop hoping she'll come, that's the minute she'll come. That makes no sense. Now life's like that. Quit being a lovesick Romeo. You got a smartphone, use it. I am fine, aware. Don't settle for fine. Someone to re-level the playing field. Yeah, Tom's built like three strikes already, so. I don't know what it is. I'm totally off my game today. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's head a little west. Woo! Nice, good ball. Are you okay? Not really. Bad day? Yeah. Is there anything we can do to help? No, I'll be fine. Maybe this will cheer you up. That's your box. 
No, this is my gift. A medium. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what? What are you doing? Excuse me. Seriously? Ooh, what? It's not bad. It's <laughs> my new style. <laughs> you see that? Next on an